What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and I hope you're all doing well today. This is just another quick tips and tricks video for Dragonflight, this time covering a brand new NPC with some curious items and a new way to get your hands on some of those elusive Dark Moon deck cards early in the expansion without even having to have the inscription profession. The NPC we'll be discussing today is the enigmatic Great Swag. This chonky dragon frog boy is hidden in the Anaran Plains Zone, with his cave entrance tucked away in the Roaring Dragon Springs near Fork River Crossing. This NPC will sell three different sacks of swag treasures. Try saying that three times fast. However, you must use a new currency, or currencies, coins of the isles. There are three types, copper, silver, and gold, with the more luxurious and valuable sacks costing the more rare coins. You can also trade the lesser coins in for the higher value ones, though it does take quite a bit. While you can just fly over to the Great Swag whenever you want, you will end up doing a lot of fishing to acquire these coins. The first time you fish up one of his coins, you'll additionally get a breadcrumb quest via a rusted coin of the Isles, and it'll mark the Great Swag on your map. The chance of getting these coins can be kinda random. On some characters I got it really fast, and on others I had to fish for 30 to 40 minutes before I got even one. So your mileage may vary, so don't say I didn't warn you. Also, directly next to the Great Swag's left side will be a coin, which is a free copper coin of the Isles, despite the tooltip saying it's a gold coin when you go to click on it to loot it. Jerks. Anyways, these coins are used to buy swag sacks, which can carry a range of goodies based on which one you purchase. The cheapest and grossest sounding one, the regurgitated sack, will frequently just have random green bind on equipment gear from the Dragon Isles, some fish, some gemstones, you know, pretty low value items. The mid-range weighted sack is where things start to get interesting though. You'll have a chance to earn Awakened Essences, which will break down into 10 Rousing Essences each, and are highly important to basically every crafting profession. You'll also occasionally come across the soggy clump of Dark Moon cards. This item will open up and give you Dark Moon cards from the new Dragon Isles Dark Moon decks. Of all the ones I opened, I always got a pair of cards, though apparently it is possible that there might be some RNG and can affect how many you get. Every time I opened it, I got two though, so again, your mileage may vary. These soggy clumps of Dark Moon cards can theoretically be a big moneymaker, as you can earn Dark Moon cards on basically any character in the game if you're lucky enough and spend enough time fishing. The last and most valuable swag sack is the Immaculate Sack. Though I wish I had recorded footage of it and I forgot to, whoops. The only one I have opened ever on my entire time on the beta gave me two soggy clumps of Dark Moon cards, as well as the Aquatic Shades toy, which appears to be the only unique reward that the Great Swag offers from the testing that I've done. These just give your character these black sunglasses like the ones you can buy in Orgrimmar and Stormwind, but for the toy collectors out there, be sure to keep an eye on those fishing holes as this seemingly is the only way to get the coins. The RNG can make this a bit volatile as an official moneymaker, but if you planned on fishing anyhow, then this gives you some extra rewards and incentive to do so. There are also unique fishing holes called Shimmering Treasure Pools. These seem to have a greatly increased chance of giving coins that the Great Swag will trade for, though this particular fishing hole seems exceptionally rare from my experimenting. Regardless, I hope this info on the Great Swag and his potential rewards, including all those sweet Dark Moon cards, proves useful to you folks. If I come across any more information, I'll be sure to pass it along in the pinned comment I leave on these videos, or I'll make another short video kind of similar to this one. If this video does prove useful to you, please consider leaving a like or a comment, as they're both quite helpful to the insatiable YouTube algorithm and it encourages it to recommend the channel and videos to more people. As always, my appreciation and gratitude to all of my viewers, patrons over on Patreon, and Twitch subs. You folks all help make these Sheba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so very much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.